hello and welcome back to online shop in this video i will show you how i created this shot first i took this snapshot from the video then i dragged that into the apps file i am putting the link in the description for how to use the apps file apps file basically generates the camera which you can export to the blender After simply matching the axis points with the reference, I exported this file for Blender. I started by deleting the default objects from the Blender viewport. Then I imported the Epsy camera. Once done with the camera setup. Then I imported the footage into the motion tracking panel. Then set scenes to frame and preface the footage. Then from the middle of the footage, I found one spot which I can track. Then I just control clicked on the spot where I want the tracking marker. Then by selecting that tracking marker, I just simply press track backward. Then using that same marker, I track forward. Once successfully tracked with that marker, I linked an empty to that track. As you can see, the tracking marker is in the exact spot in the Epsy camera we imported. Then I removed the snapshot from the Epsy camera and simply replaced it with the footage. For this shot, I used that droid from the productioncredit.com. The link is in the description. But there are lots of free rig models on the blenderkit.com. And there is a special 10% discount for my subscribers. The link is in the description. Then I imported the droid, which is a VX file and which is rigged. Then I switched to the X-ray mode and deleting the unnecessary parts from the droid body. Then I simply match the position of that rod with the footage. Once 
then I took the bones inside the pose mode and tried to match the position of the footage. Then I turn on the auto key also. Then I parented the bones of the droid with the tracking marker so that it, it can move with the body movement. Then I tried matching different events on the timeline with the models by keeping the auto key turned on. Then I tried to create the same lighting as the footage by using the spotlight. After spend so much time on it, this is how it looks once it's done. Then all I needed was the background, which again I used from the production crate.com. Then I put that model in the background and this is how it looks and I also added some more elements to it. Then I took the separate PNG sequence renders of the foreground and the background and I rendered that entire video using the EV renderer. Then I imported the main footage and all the render sequences inside the after effects then i simply keyed out the main footage Then I put the droid render over it.
then I simply masked out my left hand from the footage layer by using the mask. Then the same way I masked out some areas from the droid suit. Then I imported the background sequence. And also added some blurred foreground elements. Then I used the match grains over the droid and the background. Then I did some simple color correction and the color grading with the footage and the renders. So here is the final result I have got. I hope you enjoyed that video. Keep sharing and keep supporting. See you in the next video.